everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear. I've got in front of us another ASA today. This is the Dai Ultralight Airport ASA. So this is the same ASA that they've been using on a lot of their guns up until they started doing gas through frames. So I guess like the 13, I think, maybe the 14. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's somewhere around in there. Um, once they moved over to the gas through, it's still an ultralight uh, or an airport ASA. It's just configured slightly different for a gas through pattern. Uh, but this one right here is basically for any gun that has a dovetail rail for the frame adapter. So the bottom of your frame where your ASA normally goes has the dovetail mount on it. This will slide right on. Or if it doesn't, you can get a rail block that has a dovetail on it, and then this can slide right onto that. So it is a center, uh, center port, so your hose is going to come right out the middle. It's not going to need a 90 elbow coming off the sides. Makes for a clean setup going up to your regulator or whatever device you're feeding with air. It's very lightweight, very compact, very small, which is probably the coolest selling point about these. They don't add a lot of weight, they don't add a lot of space, and they do a good job. You've got an on-off lever right here. Now, sometimes these airports can be a little tight when you are trying to uh, turn them on under pressure or turn them on to release the pressure. Certain tank regs make it harder on these to turn. Like, I know the new Ninja Ball reg, um, regulators or ball valve regulators make this uh, older style airport a little bit hard to depress but you can still do it it's just a little bit harder um, so that's off when you turn it to the off position it does bleed you got a bleed hole on the bottom turn it all the way over it actually kind of snaps into place or locks into place uh, that's your on position and that would run gas through the uh, through the gun or through into the regulator Breakdown on these is kind of a two-stage breakdown for uh, the airport reg. It's not hard, but it does take a little bit more tools and patience. On your ASA, you can see on all of these, or on some of these, like these ones here, there's a jewel. There's a die jewel that fits right here, and I pulled a couple and pulled the jewels off so that I can show you how to get into them. So with the jewel off, and getting the jewel off, sometimes you can scar it up and ruin it a little bit. So. Um, getting into this section right here would be a last resort. You really don't ever need to get into this piece. I'm going to show you how to do it because you do need to kind of ruin the jewel. Underneath the jewel, there is a, uh, a screw and you put your Allen key into and you're going to take it out. And that's going to come out. It's kind of like a little turret screw there. You can take your lever off and this exposes your, uh, your core assembly right there. Now, before we pull our core out, or our on-off core out, we're going to pull our um, our pin core out. So we're going to take our needle nose pliers. If you look down inside there, the core, you can see there's two slots in it. Die actually makes a special tool for this. It comes in their multi-tool that sometimes you get with your gun. So if you have that die multi-tool and you ever look at it and there's like a weird fork looking tool on there, it's specifically for these cores. If not, you can use a pair of needle nose pliers. Either way, you don't have to have that tool. So grab onto it. Rotate it out and pull it out. Now, if you look down inside there, you can see there's a yellow O-ring. Maybe you can't see it, but it's down in the bottom. This is a culprit for a lot of leaky ASAs. So we pull that O-ring out of there. And that's the internals of the core assembly. You've got this bottom O-ring, you've got your post right here, and then you have this blue O-ring on the outside, and that's it. Now your post has a rounded side and it has a flat side. The flat side always goes towards your regulator, towards your tank, because you want this flat side to push against your flat pin in your regulator or your uh, bearing if you're using the ninja ball style. So make sure when you put it together that the rounded edge goes towards the cam that rotates inside of here so it rotates smoothly, and that your flat edge goes towards your tank. I see people screw that up all the time. So now that we've got the core out, there's an O-ring that rides around this, uh, this cam. And there's a cutout in the side right here, which lets us get a pick in there. We can kind of scoop underneath there and get the pick out. Pull this O-ring out. Now this O-ring doesn't seal anything. It's not a, um, it doesn't hold air inside of there. What it does is it puts, um, it keeps this core from wanting to pop out. If you didn't put this O-ring in and you assembled this back onto this, and you didn't have this inside there, this piece would just fall right out. Even if you had this on it, it would just fall out. So that O-ring keeps this cam from falling out at any given time. And there you go. 
there's our cam. So that when this rotates back and forth, it rides on the rounded side of the pin, pushing it forward or moving it back, pushing forward. Well, it doesn't move it back, the air pressure moves it back, but as it rotates, it pushes it forward. So when we go to put it back together, you wanna to make sure that this nub that's on the bottom of the cam, there's actually a groove in the bottom of the ASA where that nub needs to ride back and forth inside of. If you don't put it in that groove, the cam doesn't sit far enough down into the housing and you can't get this O-ring in there. So look inside there, find your groove. <laughs> it's funny. And then uh, drop the cam down inside of there. Now I line my can up straight across. You can do it any way you want. Getting the O-ring in can be a little tricky. You just really have to force it down in there. So I'm kind of using my fingernail to push it into the groove that it sits in. And then once I get it to a certain spot with my fingernail, I'll go ahead and use a pick. And I'm not, I'm not stabbing it. I'm using the flat side or the underside to kind of make sure I'm pushing it down into place, even though it's not holding air anyway. I mean, you don't want to ruin it just for no reason. And then we can hook up our, our lever to it. Now the lever can go one of two ways. If I put this in the index improperly, it wouldn't work, wouldn't work. it wouldn't activate properly. So um, if you put it together and you find that your lever is not working, just take it off and flip it around. All right, so let's put that back on there, all right. And then I can put my screw back in. Slippery, it's greasy. All right, let's tighten that down. Remember, just snug it up nice and tight. Don't overly do it. All right, so now we always want to work with the cam. When we're putting this core back inside, our cam should be in the off position or our lever should be in the off position. Because we don't want to, when we're screwing this in, we don't want the post to be poking out as we're trying to screw it down in. So first thing we're going to do is take our small O-ring. Now the small O-ring fits into a little a recessed area at the bottom. And it can be tricky to get in there if you're trying to use something like this. And plus you don't want to damage it really. So if you take an Allen key that is wider than your O-ring, you can just pop it right down into place. You can use a pen, I guess, something that's just bigger than the O-ring itself so that you can evenly push it down into its little groove. Then we take our core, make sure that we've got our uh, pin in properly, drop it inside there, push it down, grab it, and screw it together to where it is snug. Don't overdo it either, just tell snug. And then we're gonna activate our cam to make sure that our pin moves back and forth. And it does freely and easily. So. Uh, it's a pretty simple takedown. It just takes a little bit more time. Um, they're rugged, easily, easily usable, and very reliable uh, ASA. So definitely check them out. They fit really into any kind of space, and they're a, they're a good piece. So um, die ASAs, ultralight airport, all sorts of colors, as you can see here. They're available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.